Information on the Environment of the Southwest, Student Handout 3.2a. Physical Features. The Southwest extends from Utah and Colorado southward through Arizona and New Mexico, including parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and California. The landscape consists of flat-topped mesas and steep-walled canyons like the Grand Canyon, as well as winding mountains and hot, dry desert land. Climate. While the landscape differs greatly, the whole region has the same desert climate. There is little rain throughout the year with only slightly heavier rains in the winter and spring. The temperature changes greatly from day to night and from season to season with cold winters and hot summers. Water availability. Two large rivers, the Colorado River and the Rio Grande, run through this region. However, there are few other rivers, lakes, or streams. Animal life. Large animals of the region like the pronghorn antelope, mule deer, mule deer, jaguar, and peccary, a wild boar-like animal, are few and difficult to find. Most of the animals who make their home in this desert region are small rodents like the jackrabbit, kangaroo, the kangaroo rat, and pocket mouse. Lizards such as the Gila monster and snakes such as the sidewinder also live in this region. Vegetation. The vegetation in the area consists primarily of pinyon, juniper, cactus, and mesquite. Only hardy, deep-rooted plants can survive in this desert climate. Since the landscape differs greatly in altitude from the tops of the mesas to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, these plants vary greatly in terms of size and coverage at different altitudes. Native Americans in their environment, the Southwest, student handout 3.2D. The Hopi were Pueblo Indians. They had an agricultural lifestyle and lived in permanent villages on the tops of a few mesas in what is known today as the state of Arizona. The Hopi had lived in this region for thousands of years. Another Pueblo tribe is the Zuni. Other essentially nomadic tribes such as the Navajo, Apache, and Apache were driven into this region by European expansion. These nomadic tribes have a much different way of life from the Hopi and Zuni. Housing. The Hopi lived in homes called pueblos, built in early spring or late summer when there, were, when there was more water to mix adobe, a building material made of sun-dried earth. A pueblo was made with shaped sandstone blocks and adobe to fill the cracks and cover the outside. The roof was covered with ponderosa pine gathered from distant forests and transported on mules. Other tribes in the southwest region who had a greater supply of water than the Hopi made their pueblos entirely from adobe. Food. The Hopi hunted rabbits and deer, but their main food source was corn. The cultivation and use of corn played a major role in the Hopi's daily activities. The Hopi also grew pumpkins and beans. Clothing. Hopi men spun yarn from cotton and wove it into cloth. They wore cotton breechcloths and kilts. A woman would wrap a piece of clo cotton cloth around her body and secure it under her left arm and over her right shoulder. In early times, the Hopi wore sandals woven of yucca fiber and cut from rawhide. A woman's moccasins were also leggings and wrapped around her lower leg until it looked like a stovepipe. These were worn more often by Zuni than by Hopi women. Recreation. Foot races and any other physical competitions of speed, endurance, and skill were popular. A great deal of time was spent creating painted pottery and woven baskets with beautiful designs. Values. The Hopi and other Pueblo Indians had more ceremonies than in any other culture region, and nearly all of the ceremonies had the same purpose, to ask the gods for water, for rain. Since they were agricultural societies, adequate water supplies were essential not only for a successful harvest, but for the people's survival. In the snake ceremony, snakes whose zigzagging movements represented lightning bolts were washed, prayed over, and purified. The snakes were set free at the end of the ceremony in hopes they would carry to the gods the people's prayer for rain. Many corn dances were held throughout planting and harvesting time to pray for fertility and to celebrate the harvest. 1.9 Native Americans of the Southwest The Southwest cultural region includes present-day Arizona, New Mexico, southern Utah, and Colorado, and portions of Texas, Oklahoma, and California. This region has many environments, canyons, mountains, deserts, and flat-topped mesas. It even has two major rivers, the Colorado and the Rio Grande. 
but rain seldom falls anywhere. The heat and lack of water made living in the Southwest a challenge, yet some Native Americans learned to love this arid land. The whole Southwest was a house made of dawn, goes an old Indian song. There were many colors on the hills and on the plain, and there was a dark wilderness on the mountains beyond. Mesa people. Different groups found different ways of surviving in the Southwest. Some lived as nomadic, meaning wandering, desert hunters. Along the Colorado River, small groups hunted, gathered, and farmed. Others planted fields of corn, beans, and squash on the tops of high, flat areas called mesas. The Mesa people lacked trees for building homes. Instead, they made their homes from the earth itself, using bricks of adobe, which is sun-baked sun clay. They built thick-walled houses that protected them from summer heat and winter cold. Their villages looked like apartment houses that reached up to four stories high and had hundreds of rooms. A single village called a pueblo might house a thousand people. To protect their bodies from the sun, Mesa people wore clothes made of cotton that they grew, spun, and wove into cloth. Using plants and minerals, they dyed fabrics with bright colors. Corn culture. Despite living in a desert, the early Mesa people learned to grow corn, beans, and squash. Corn was by far their most important crop. To make the most of infrequent rain, farmers planted nearly naturally flooded areas like the mouths of large stream beds or the bases of mesas where rain runoff flowed. Men dug irrigation ditches from the streams to the fields and built small dams to hold summer rain. Girls spent many hours a day grinding corn kernels into cornmeal. The woman the women cooked the cornmeal into bread and clay ovens. In clay pots, they cooked stews of corn, rabbit meat, and chili peppers. The caption says, survival in the southwest was a challenge. The area contains mountains, flat-topped mesas, canyons, and deserts. Sparse rainfall prevents the growth of many trees and plants.